Okay, I'm in front of 3221 Jefferson. This is the HUD home. I'll show you the outside here. The roof looks pretty good. There are, uh, yeah, just rain gutters on the front. One car carport. There's a park. The homes are a little bit smaller, you know, as far as like the the lot size. Um, you don't really have much side yard. This is the neighbor's property line right here. Uh, looks like the window screen is a little damaged. Um, there is some peeling paint right there. I mean, not a big deal on your end of it because you're going conventional, but an FHA buyer would have an issue. Um, you know, again, it's just easy cosmetic. They don't want to have dry rot or anything like that. Um, anyway, a little bit of a, a little bit of peeling paint, I think, looks like, on the, you know, on the, on the trim part of the roof. Okay, we have a cute landscaped in the front. Let's go take a look. So we've got um, pergo type flooring. So not real hardwood floor. It's a little um, tile type ceiling. Good size family room. Looks like it does have new windows. The vinyl windows in it. This is locked, but I guess it must be a closet. Okay, this would be your dining area. You got the wainscoting, there's the beadboard trim, which is nice. Again, new windows here. They have started some of the updates in here. Um, it does have the tile, grant like the granite tiles. Cabinets are updated. And I guess you just got the window seal really close to the cabinets. But at least they're utilizing all the space. Looks like they may have taken the microwave. Not a bad size. If you have a dishwasher, which is nice, your refrigerator would go right here. And just the lighting. Okay. So from the dining area, that goes down to the, the basement, there's some chipped, um, looks like slate flooring. Okay, you got your attic access right here. Okay, I don't have any power. Anyway, here's your bathroom. Uh, you have the slate floor again. Looks like it's been updated. You have a ceiling fan, or a, you know, the vent. Uh, new vanity, the toilet. Well, you've got the toilet, but not the seat cover. So, anyway, that had to be redone. Looks nice, you may have like another picture or something right here where it just needs to be repainted. Looks like it's in good shape. Whoops. 
<laughs> Sorry, that's my phone. Um, anyway, bedroom number one. Um, not big enough for your king size bed, but a decent size room. Carpets have some stains on it, but they might be able to clean up. I'm not sure. They have like a ceiling fan. Just a small closet. Looks like just missing some of the baseboard right here. Bedroom number two. Um, again, you know, just get the carpets cleaned. You might have to replace them, I'm not sure. Um, this might fit a king size bed, but uh probably not much more. Let's kind of give you a visual here. But you might get a king size bed in here. It just wouldn't I don't know if you could do a king size bed and a dresser. And you've got a small closet. That's it. And part of it is the, the stairs right here. Alright, let's go look at the rest. I just love my narrative here. <laughs> okay, um, electrical. Hmm. I don't see any. That's interesting. There's your meter, which is so weird to have in here. I wonder if they've moved the electrical. Hopefully they have because you don't have anything right now. Let's go see. And that would explain why I don't have any power too. Okay, bedroom number three. Kind of have a little, a little bit of a low ceiling. I mean, there's, um, let me see if I can show it to you a little bit better. It's probably maybe six and a half feet. You know, it's pretty, pretty low here. And I'm five, five. I bet it's maybe, ugh, I don't know if it's even six feet right here on the low part. But anyway, bedroom number three, it's a decent size, you know, um, a little bit smaller than the bedroom upstairs, the one that would be considered the master. Um, just a little bit narrower. Damaged door right here. Uh, this is the unfinished part. Oh, good. <laughs> Alright, so, looks like you've got the new electrical panel. That's a, that's a good thing. Uh, this would be your, where, where your washer and dryer are. Got plenty of storage. Um, your furnace. Your water heater. Let's see if this even says when it was put in. I don't think it does. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway. Okay. So again, really low ceilings. I mean, it's almost to my head. So maybe like five, seven. Um, I'm ducking actually a little bit. Okay, this is the other bath. Again, it looks like this is a new window too. Yeah. So again, all new windows, which is really nice. You've got, you know, tile, nice vanity. Toilet with the toilet seat cover, very nice. You have two a vanity and you've got a little extra cupboard space, but okay. Uh, hopefully you're able to see this. I think they may have been using this as a bedroom or something. This will be like just a family room, it's just really dark. Um, anyway, there's a little bit of shelving here. Looks like they have got, you know, they were using this as a, a closet. But, um, this would really just be a little, another little family room. And this is your bedroom number four. And I guess this would actually be the biggest room of the, of all the bedrooms. 
So you get to put your bed. You have a bigger closet. Looks like they've taken the, uh, the light or whatever was down here. Um, yeah, just the, you got the low ceilings probably right here. It might be seven foot. It'd be a seven foot ceiling here and then where you have the duct work, you're probably not even six feet. So anyway, let's go out back. Get the one car carport. Again, you're close to the neighbors. You don't have much space between neighbors. Looks like you could probably take this down if you wanted to. And, you know, make a big garage back here. It would just be a one, a one car driveway, but then it would be able to open up. Nice little patio. And a decent sized patio area. And just, you know, the ability to make a, a big garage back here if you wanted to. You've kind of got the wires that you'd have to just kind of deal with, but, um, you know, I think it's. I think it's doable. Um, there's a sprinkler box, but I didn't see a, um, an automatic sprinkler timer, and I don't know if it does have any. I'm kind of looking. I don't see any sprinklers, like automatic sprinklers. So that might be something that you'd have to, you know, look into as another expense if that's what you wanted. Okay, it's typical. Um, some of these homes in Ogden, they actually have a, an alleyway. Oh, there's, there's a sprinkler box right there. Oh, a sprinkler head right there. Um, so yeah, a lot of these homes have an alleyway. So here would be your alley access right here. you got a, a, a double wide gate right here. And then you, know, you have access to this alley. So if you did want to park like an RV or something back here you could. I don't know if people really utilize it anymore, but you can. It didn't look like there was a lot of traffic on there. You know, like uh, the grass wasn't packed down or the weeds weren't packed down. Anyway, um, I don't think it has any kind of uh, I don't think it has any central air or a swamp cooler. So that'd be another another expense. Overall, it's a cute house. It has vinyl siding, new windows, updated kitchen, updated flooring. Uh, the bathrooms are updated. Uh, updated electrical, which is which is really good. Uh, anyway, it's got the potential. So let me know if you have any questions.